What is up, my Kendama family? Welcome to the Dama Dojo. You already know what time it is. I'm D Banks. This is episode number two, and today we are going to talk about wood. Uh, last episode, we talked about painted versus natty kendamas and why that's an important feature of your kendama when you're going to make a purchase. Another important feature is what type of wood your kendama is made out of. So today we're going to run through some of the woods I have in my collection, some of the different types of wood you'll find used in the kendama industry, hopefully to help you guys make a better choice when you're going to buy your next kendama. So without further ado, welcome to the Dama Dojo episode two. Let's get right to it, the wood episode, baby. All right, so the first wood we're gonna talk about today is going to be beech wood. And the reason we're gonna go with beech first is because it's probably the most common type of wood you're gonna find used in the kendama industry. If you're buying an entry level kendama in that $15, $25 range, it's probably gonna be made out of beech wood. Why is that? Well, beech wood is really common, it's easy to find, and so it's easy for companies to acquire, and uh, that's gonna make it pretty cheap. But for the price, beech wood is going to be pretty durable. So you'll get a, uh, a cheap kendama or you know a lower price kendama that's gonna last you some time. So let's take a, a look at one of the beech kendamas. So I have here the Sweets Prime, uh, again, the classic entry level kendama phenomenal kendama uh, for the cost and this is going to be a fully beach uh, fully beach kendama so you're gonna have a beechwood tama and a beechwood ken. The feel of beechwood is going to be slick and smooth there's not going to be a lot of grain uh, on this beechwood and so if you were to say buy a natty beechwood kendama I'm not sure how that's gonna break in because the grain just doesn't really pop out on this. Uh, now beechwood again is considered a hard wood but uh, it will break down on you just because the durability of this wood uh, used in this kind of scenario playing kendama hitting it against things it's gonna break down pretty fast so these tips uh, the spikes are gonna get pretty flat and you're gonna get craters in your Tama when you're talking about beech wood but that said for the price this is gonna last you quite some time beech wood is used in all kinds of stuff veneer lumber furniture small wooden objects, anywhere that a company might need uh, cheap access to a decent durable wood for a low cost. The color of beech wood is going to come in sort of pale. You might see here this is, uh, you know, it's not brown uh, and it's not white. It's kind of right in the middle, creamy, pale color, uh, if that matters to you at all when you go to buy your next kendama. Uh, beech wood is also pretty lightweight, so, you know, as you're tossing this around, yeah, the weight of it is not going to feel super substantial. I prefer like a heavier kendama, but a beechwood kendama is going to be pretty light uh, and easy to toss around when you're doing jugs and stuff like that. Uh, as far as the sound, um, this might be difficult to capture on this this microphone, but I think uh, beechwood itself has a more uh, damp sound. It's definitely a click, but it's it's like a damp click, and I think that's because just uh, the overall like softness of the wood in, comp uh, in comparison to some other woods that we're gonna look at soon. All in all, beech wood, low price, decent quality, decent durability, and uh, you know, the grain pattern on this isn't gonna pop out. It's not gonna be super interesting as far as that goes. Uh, but you know, beech kendamas, they're easy to find, they're not high price, and they'll last you some time. So definitely look into beech wood. Uh, it's it's good wood regardless of the uh, the price. All right, so the next wood we're going to talk about is maple. So we have here the chrome uh, no name, I guess this 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 doesn't have a name. So chrome came out with this on like uh, April first. It doesn't have a ring stall as you can tell, and they didn't give it a name. It was like an April Fool's joke. Uh, I'm glad I was able to get one. These are sold out. But anyway, it's fully maple and uh, maple kendama is going to be super durable. And I think that's why you find maple used um, you know, around the world is for its durability. So maple is gonna be used for stuff like flooring, also veneer, uh, you know, hardwood, things like that. Again, it's just a super durable wood. Also, baseball bats are often made out of maple, and that right there kind of speaks to the durability. The color of a maple kendama is gonna be basically white. I mean, this comes in almost white, right? So when we looked at the uh, the beechwood kendama, you can see right away the difference in those colors of wood. Beech is gonna be a darker, browner tint, sort of pale, and this is coming in, you know, basically all white. I don't know if you can see it in the light there, but uh, yeah, it's, it's more interesting to look at, but that said, it does not pop out. It's gonna be slick, sort of smooth grain, so if you get a, a natural, a natty uh, maple kendama, it might take some time to break in and get that grain to pop out. Uh, you know, I really like these uh, maple kendamas. When you play them, these are gonna sound 
a little more sharp than that beech wood. Uh, maybe you can tell from the audio here, but yeah, it's a little sharper, less damp, uh, definitely more of a clack than the Beechwood has. So uh, I enjoy Maple Kendamas. Again, this is gonna run you in that $30, $40 sort of mid-range level. Uh, but if, you know, they're easy to find and chances are if you buy in that level, you're gonna be picking up a Maple Kendama. Uh, Durability-wise, it's gonna last you a long time. Great choice. Well, the next wood we're gonna talk about is Ash Wood. And so this was my first Natty Kendama. This is the uh, Craft Fully uh, White Ash. Sorry, USA Craft White Ash Kendama, one of my favorite Kendamas. You're gonna find this used uh, all around the world for things that need high durability. Again, baseball bats are tend to be made out of ash. Uh, tool handles, bows for archery, things like that get made out of ash wood. And it's because it's really hard and you can feel it in your hand that it's got, I guess, more of a sturdy quality to it. Uh, so that is nice. I think that this, this Kendama is heavier than some of the other Damas I use. Playing this one is what made me sort of appreciate a heavier Kendama. So you get some of that, um, you know, you get a substantial feeling as you're throwing the Kendama around doing jugs and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna feel heavy in your hands, gonna feel substantial, like you're act, like you're holding, you know, something of weight. Whereas some of the Kendamas with like lunar balance holes, uh, or if they're made out of, uh, again, like maple or beech, they're gonna feel really light and easy to throw in the air. So up to you, definitely a personal preference as far as weight goes, but ash is going to be a little bit heavier. As far as color, I think ash comes in more on the yellow tint. Uh, this one is has been played quite a bit. When I first bought it, it was probably a little more white, uh, closer to the maple color, but now over time, it's definitely gotten a little yellower. Uh, with the grain on this, if you uh, go back and watch episode one about Natty Kendama, you'll remember that I said that the grain on this is just great. It pops out, it, it definitely goes away after maybe a week or two of play, but then as you play a little bit more, it starts to open up a bit. So as far as the sound of playing this Kendama, an Ash Kendama is gonna have a very sharp sound. It's gonna be very clacky, uh, satisfying when you hit those Lunars uh, and you hear it click right on the top of that thing. Yeah, I love the sound of this. One of my favorite Kendamas for sure. I think it's a unique play. It was my first Natty Kendama. Uh, the next wood we're gonna talk about, I probably prefer more, which is Birchwood uh, on a Natty. But that said, I think Ash is a great choice. Lots of people prefer Ash Tamas. They break in super well. And um, over time, they just become better and better as you continue to play with them. So yeah, Ash Wood's gonna be in that premium range. You're gonna be looking at that $50, $60 range. If you live in a humid area and you can get yourself a natural Ash Kendama, it's gonna play phenomenally well. The uh, humidity is gonna get into the grain and make it pop out a lot more. Uh, than just fresh out of the box. All right, and last but not least of the woods that I actually have and that I actually play, this is a Kendama USA Spectra Kendama. This is gonna be fully birch. Uh, so birch wood, I didn't really have any experience with, but after playing this, it's definitely become my favorite wood for Natty Kendamas. Again, super durable wood, probably the most durable one on the list, uh, but that's a naive opinion, so if you guys know better than I do, drop something in the comments about what you think the most durable wood is that you've played. But for me, this has been super durable. I've dropped it uh, you know, on the concrete all over the place and it's not gotten any chips uh, and it's still maintained basically all of its, I mean, all of its playability. That's why birch gets used for things like paneling, doors, uh, stuff where you're gonna have heavy interaction with human beings who are known to damage things. And it's gonna be in that premium range, uh, probably $60, $70 for a Birch Kendama. Um, when I got this, the grain was, I think, similar to the, to the ash in that out of the box. It was a little fuzzy almost, like you could definitely feel the grain popping out. I think it, uh, in a similar way to the Ash Kendama, the grain kind of went away, but definitely not as bad. Like this still has some of the grain in it, and I play this Kendama every day, um, and this is another Natty Kendama that's just getting better and better over time. So yeah, really enjoying Birchwood. If I was gonna get another Natty Kendama today, I would probably buy a Birch Kendama, uh, just cause it feels so good, and it's, it's um, on the heavier side as well. Uh, which again, I prefer. I think it's actually a little bit lighter than Ash, uh, but still heavier than like my Maple or the Beach Kendama. So it's a good good midpoint for me, um, and I'm really enjoying playing it. Uh, it also sounds amazing. So I know some people prefer like the sharp click clack. This is gonna be a damp, more like a clock almost. I know that's, that's weird to say, but that's what it sounds like, like a clock sound as opposed to a click or a clack. And it's really satisfying uh, when I play it and I hear them, them lunars, 
clack clock right on top of this thing uh, it sounds amazing so yeah definitely my favorite wood so far is going to be uh, this birch wood I'm very much looking forward to this I got a GT2 coming in the mail today I'm gonna do an unboxing for y'all that's gonna be a birch Ken with a yellow ash Tama so as soon as that comes in the mail today I'm gonna do another video uh, or tomorrow where I do an unboxing for y'all so we can look at that GT2 super excited about that That's gonna be hopefully an amazing play uh, Cool, so that's all the woods I have in my collection uh, I think again birch is definitely my favorite wood of the choices that I have right now um, But you know there are all types of different exotic kendama woods that you can get into uh, walnut kendamas oak kendamas cherry mahogany there are all types of different options uh, you know, if you're just looking for a kendama that's going to last a long time and feel really good, I would say uh, go find yourself a maple. They're, they're easy to, to cop. You know, Chrome tends to have those maples on sale. Uh, not on sale, but for sale often. So yeah, go cop a maple. They're going to be uh, a great choice for durability, playability, I think it's, uh, and cost. If you're going to go cop you a natty, I mean, I definitely recommend that birch. It feels great. Um, you know, we talked about grain and stuff like that. I think birch has the most unique grain pattern I've played with uh, and it feels amazing. And that's it for the wood episode. I appreciate y'all joining me today. I'm going to have some uh, edits coming for you guys soon, some noob edits because I know that some of you guys uh, are also new to Kendama. Um, it's officially my three month anniversary so I got myself a GoPro. I'm doing some uh, some filming of tricks for you guys so that you can see me progress and hopefully y'all will drop in the comments some of your edits as well so that we can all progress together in this beautiful thing that we call Kendama. Uh, so yeah, I will see y'all soon with another episode. Hopefully it's that GT2 unboxing. So uh, drop a like, drop a comment, hit subscribe if you're feeling me. Thanks for joining the Dama Dojo. We will see y'all next time. So maple is probably uh, one of my favorite woods.